happy day students this is august portion you have two chapters and out of which first chapter is chapter 5 list and images this is for class 9 so topic covered will be we'll be learning on how what is ordered list what is unordered list what are type how to use type attribute for adding the shapes like circle or a dot then ordered what is ordered list marking scrolling a text then nested list you will be learning and how to insert a image in which i'll be teaching you also rows row span and column span yes so we'll start with first unordered list so unordered list is used when item is not delivered oh, sorry when item is not displayed in any particular order the browser displays a bullet before the list of items so i'm selecting a code over here yes So this has both unordered and ordered list. For you to identify what is difference between unordered and ordered list, I'm copying it between the body of the HTML document and running the program. So you can see our unordered list has one, two, three numbers given over there, and unordered list just have the bullet points. Yes. So li li tag is a listed listed item in an ordered or unordered list. Then we have the type attribute. So type attribute is a type of bullet that can be used in a unordered list. So I'm copying a code. So we have option like if over here it will be I'm using circle. The other options available is disk square. Yeah. So when where I type type is equal to circle, I can mention over there as type is equal to disk or square the double quotes with the double quotes. Next we have start option. Okay. So usually ordered list will start from what number one, right? One, two, three, four. Suppose if you want to start from a different number, let's say fifty or sixty or different number like one not one, what can be done at that point? We will be using a start attribute. Yes. So specify the starting point of a numbering scheme. We use the attribute start. Yeah. So let's see with an example. Why I am teaching everything with the example is for you so that you can recollect easily. Yeah. So here starting point will be fifty. So coffee, tea, milk will start with the number fifty. So again, I'm copying in between the in the body part of the document. So you can see fifty, fifty one, fifty two. Yes. Next we have mark you text. So mark you text displays a moving text on the background. Yeah. So I have taken a uh, our program over here, which will be showing you the scrolling upwards and left to right. Yes. So Marquita has a number of attributes. One will be its width, height, behavior, and the background color. So behavior means you can either alter, scroll, and slide. Those are the behaviors of a Marquita. Yes. So you can see over here, one is going up, and the other one is scrolling left to. Right, so over here, Marco, this is a basic example, and the other one I am given the direction is up. So the direction of the text will be from bottom to top. That is coming in the, that is because of the top Marco. Yes. So next we have nested list. Nested list. Ah, uh, before inserting image, we have nested list. That is list. Ah, uh, within a list is known as a nested list. This means one set of elements can be embedded within another set of elements. So you can see over here nested list I have taken, copying in the body of the HTML program. So HTML program starts with the ends with the HTML hashtag HTML. I will be running the program. Yes, so you can see what the output is. Next we have how to insert an image. So already you know how to insert an image, right? IMG source file will be giving. Yeah, one more additional attribute what you are going to learn over here is using alignment like. Alignment can be left, alignment to the top, aligned to the center of to of an image. Yeah, over here alignment is given as left, which I'm so you can see a monkey comes to the left. If I'm moving it to the right, yes. So O A L T means if man monkey dot G F is not fine, what is the alternative text? A monkey will be displayed since over here I am not uh, the source image is not proper having given a path, so the alternative text has been appeared. Hmm? Now we have lab activity. So the first lab activity you are supposed to design a web page as shown on the screen with wonders of the world and the other points given in your textbook in page number forty seven. Yes, so this is a source code which I already shared you, which I already shared in the e-connect. 
yeah you can have a look so image i already given a path so you can select one of the image name over here then alignment i'm making center then i'm listed the taj mahal and pyramid will come as listed then the phone and everything is ending over here so once i've started the program i ended the program over here so this is all about your first chapter of your july proposition so let me once again tell you you have two chapters so we have only completed just now we have already completed 